All right, looking for a little something different to do for the holidays? We've got it for you. Miguel Reyna is very well known in South Florida. People come from all over to our area to hear the Peruvian singer perform some of America's greatest hits. Yes, his repertoire includes modern fair cha-cha and rumba runes, and he can even play the piano. Look at a video. Look at some video right here. All he right. performs every Thursday night at to a packed crowd, and he has developed a very loyal following. Listen. I believe he's the best keyboard piano player in all Florida. It's something that makes you peaceful. And I love following his music. He's the greatest musician around. All that, and he's here. Wow, the Studios. That's awesome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. What Thank a nice you. holiday treat for people to get to hear you sing tonight. Well, the whole thing is that what we're trying to do is to preserve the music that's harmonious. Okay. It has harmony. It has love. has freedom. It has peace. And what kind of music do you sing? You say you I sing do, 40s. In uh, 1940s, I do Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett. I do Ferrand the Enticer. Sing from the apartment. Sing from Exodus. All the music there was uh, in the 40s, 40s and early 50s, that is very healthy for people. The, the problem with, with, with life is that life is very stressful, right. brings a lot of fear. And brings, fear brings worry, resentment, all negative thoughts and feelings and anxiety comes from fear, from stress. And what um, the music that we do, we're trying to to calm the people down, although I'm nervous right now. Wow. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Are you more comfortable singing than speaking sometimes? Well, some, no, not, not really. I'm, I'm, I'm not more comfortable when I'm behind a piano. Okay. Because sometimes the piano protects me, you know. And yeah. you've been doing this for 40 years. Maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe so since years. you were five. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. How did you start? I started in, in South America when my father took me to see the movie, the Glenn Miller story. Sure. And uh, Anchors Away, and all that beautiful, all the beautiful movies from that era. And I fell in love with American music, American culture, the Constitution, Henry David Thoreau, Ronald Waldo Emerson, the Bill of Rights, <laughs> and Frank Sinatra. And Frank Sinatra. Uh, tell us really quickly, we're wrapping up here, but tell us about what experience you get when you see the people enjoy music from 60-something years ago. Well, I see people that, a uh, class is ageless. Uh, uh, the music from that era is hip. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's calming, it's restoring, healthy. And, and people have, a lot, they love it, they love it. They love peaceful things, uh, peaceful things like, uh, like an organization, Friends of Mine, they are, and, and World Peace One. Right. They're, they're, they're an organization because they want to create peace, they want to create harmony, they want to create love, they want to create things that are going to bring, like, like Miss Universe. That's <laughs> right, that's <laughs> right. There we go. Yeah. Well, you spread a lot of love and you spread a lot of harmony. Right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you We're very much. See you. Thank you. I would love that. I'll be right back. I want to be around to pick up the patients. <laughs>